So, hello everyone. This is Professor, Assistant Professor Sushit Kauri from Dr. D. Y. Patel Institute of Pharmaceutical Science and Research in Pune. So, uh, today we are going to study the experiment number K from Pharmaceutics 2 for Diploma in Pharmacy. The aim of the experiment is to prepare and submit the simple mixture containing ammonium chloride. So, the students will be able to learn from this particular experiment is they can prepare the mixture, they can formulate the mixture or they how to manufacture the mixtures containing the active constituents or mixtures containing the API, that is active pharmaceutical ingredient. So, let us start the experiment. So, apparatus we are using for the experiment is beaker, uh, glass rod, then we have measuring cylinder, then we have uh, filter paper, then we, have, we are going to use the funnel. So, what is prescription? Prescription means the written order from the medical practitioner that the, on the prescription, the chemicals required for the manufacturing of the mixture are written or the chemicals required for the formulation of that particular medicament is written. So, uh, for this particular prescription, we are going to use the ammonium chloride. The quantity for ammonium chloride we are going to use that is 2 gram. The aromatic solution of ammonia that is we are going to use 0 0.6 ml that is uh, 0.6 ml equal to 1 drop. Only 1 drop of so, uh, aromatic solution of ammonia we are going to use here. Then we are going to use liquid extract of liquorice that is 2 ml. Only 2 ml of liquid extract of liquorice we are going to use here. And purified water curious means quantity sufficient. So we are going to use purified water as per the required quantity. Okay, so after formulation of, uh, after preparation of this particular mixture, the required quantity or how much quantity we require, that much quantity we are going to fulfill with the purified water. Then, so let us start with the experiment. So as we can see here, the chemicals required that are ammonium chloride, aromatic solution of ammonia, liquid extract of liquid ice and purified water. Then here the stepwise procedure is given and the factor is calculated there that is 30 divided by 15. The factor will be of 2 and then we are going to calculate the required quantity or quantity taken for this particular experiment. So these are the chemicals. This is ammonium chloride. So this is 2 gram we are going to take. This is ammonia that is aromatic solution of ammonia and this is liquid extract of liquid ice. Then this is how the ammonium chloride is, looks like it is a fine simple powder. So this is how we are going to mix the ammonium chloride. We are going to take the beaker and we are going to add the ammonium chloride to the beaker. Then we are going to take the purified water. Okay, so purified water here, we are going to take a little amount of purified water to dissolve the to, to dissolve the ammonium chloride. So here we just we are just taking a little amount of purified water to dissolve the ammonium chloride. Now with the help of glass rod, we are going to shake the uh, this particular solution. We have to shake till the ammonium chloride gets dissolved in the purified water. So this is the process of uh, mixing of this particular ingredient. As you can see, the ammonium chloride is getting dissolved in the purified water with the help of glass rod. This is the, this is how we have, we have to shake the particular uh, mixture. Then we are going to take here the ammonium chloride. Sorry, uh, we are going to take here the aromatic solution of ammonia. Okay, so only 0.6 ml we have, we are going to use here, that is one drop. Only one drop we have to use here, that uh, the solution of ammonia, only one drop, that is 0.6 ml we are going to use here. Then we have to close that particular ingredient with the help of cap. Then again, we are going to shake this particular solution. 
then next step we have to add the liquid extract of liquorice so liquid extract of liquorice acts here as the uh, flavoring agent or sweetening agent okay so in this particular formulation the liquid extract of liquorice is used as a flavoring agent but it gives a sweet taste to this particular formulation so this is how mixing process we have to do here we are going to uh, mix all the ingredients in the beaker we have to mix all the ingredients with the, we have to mix all the ingredients with the help of glass rod this is how the formulation looks like after mixing all the ingredients in this particular formulation this formulation is usually used as expectorant so the treatment of after consuming this particular formulation the effect we will get that is expectorant okay so next step is filtration filtration is the very important step in this particular experiment so whatever the foreign particles are present or any visible particle is present that we have to remove with the help of filtration process so as we can see here muslin cloth we are using here for the process of filtration then we are we are going to uh, filter this particular formulation in the measuring cylinder as you can see here the quantity of the major how much solution we got here i think we got around 25 ml of this particular solution then what we have to do here we have to add the purified water to this particular solution we have to make up the volume till the 30 ml okay so the 30 ml quantity we are going to dispense here 30 ml quantity we have to dispense to that particular patient now we are adding the purified water till it reaches to the 30 ml mark okay so the final formulation will be of the 30 ml as you can see here on the measuring cylinder we can see if the solution reaches to the 30 ml mark then this is the now the, this particular solution is free from foreign part foreign particles this solution is free from any visible particles because we have filtered and we have made the we have made the volume or the we have made the required volume now what we are going to do here we are going to transfer this particular solution to the amber color water because amber the sun rays or the light which is coming from the environment it may harm this particular formulation that is why most of the formulations are stored in the amber color bottles amber color bottle will protect this particular formulation from the environmental light or the visible light okay so so the final result of this particular experiment is 30 ml mixture containing ammonium chloride was submitted in amber color bottle as we have seen in the experiment we have mixed all the ingredients which are required for this particular formulation and then we have measured that particular measured that formulation and then we have transferred that we have transferred that uh, formulation to the amber color bottle to protect it from the light then uh, we have submitted the amber color bottle for the inspection with the special instructions on the label as shake when well before use so before consuming that particular formulation we have to shake the formulation so that all the ingredients which are present in that particular formulation will be mixed together properly and after consuming that formulation the humans or the or the person who is consuming that formulation will get benefited from that particular formulation so students have uh, But this is how students students have to formulate this particular mixture this is how students have to prepare this for particular formulation and then they have to dispense to the particular patient with the proper label on it the label should mention the name of formulation the ingredients which are used on the in the in that particular formulation then special instructions like protect it from the light protect it from the sunlight then the very important instruction should be written on this particular bottle this is shake well before use then the manufacturing date expiry date should be mentioned on that particular bottle on that particular label and the place where this the place where this particular formulation is manufactured okay so thank you